The Naked Communist by W. Cleon Skousen Ronald Reagan, President of the United States, added his own endorsement. No one is better qualified to discuss the threat to this nation from communism. You will be alarmed. You will be informed. Dr. Ben Carson, surgeon, philanthropist, journalist, and candidate for U.S. President, said the book opened his eyes to the workings of America's greatest enemy. The Naked Communist lays out the whole progressive plan. It is unbelievable how fast it has been achieved. Radio host Glenn Beck said, Skousen predicted someday you won't be able to find the truth anywhere, because the history of this country is going to be hijacked by communists. I think we are there. J. Edgar Hoover, the director of the Federal Bureau of Investigation for 37 years, never endorsed books, but came close when he said, I feel certain that your efforts on this important subject, communism, will receive widespread attention and consideration. Current Communist Goals 1. U.S. Acceptance of Coexistence as the Only Alternative to Atomic War 2. U.S. Willingness to Capitulate in Preference to Engaging in Atomic War 3. Develop the illusion that total disarmament by the United States would be a demonstration of moral strength 4. Permit free trade between all nations, regardless of communist affiliation, and regardless of whether or not items could be used for war. 5. Extension of long-term loans to Russia and Soviet satellites. 6. Provide American aid to all nations, regardless of communist domination. 7. Grant recognition of Red China. Admission of Red China to the UN. 8. Set up East and West Germany as separate states, in spite of Khrushchev's promise in 1955 to settle the Germany question by free elections under the supervision of the UN. 9. Prolong the conferences to ban atomic tests because the U.S. has agreed to suspend tests as long as negotiations are in progress. 10. Allow all Soviet satellites individual representation in the UN. 11. Promote the UN as the only hope for mankind. If its charter is rewritten, demand that it be set up as a one-world government with its own independent armed forces. Some communist leaders believe the world can be taken over as easily by the UN as by Moscow. Sometimes these two centers compete with each other as they are now doing in the Congo. 12. Resist any attempt to outlaw the Communist Party. 13. Do away with all loyalty oaths. 14. Continue giving Russia access to the U.S. Patent Office. 15. Capture one or both of the political parties in the United States. 16. Use technical decisions of the courts to weaken basic American institutions by claiming their activities violate civil rights. 17. Get control of the schools. Use them as transmission belts for socialism and current communist propaganda. Soften the curriculum. Get control of teachers' associations. Put the party line in textbooks. 18. Gain control of all student newspapers. 19. Use student riots to foment public protests against programs or organizations which are under communist attack. 20. Infiltrate the press. Get control of book review assignments, editorial writing, and policy-making positions. 21. Gain control of key positions in radio, TV, and motion pictures. 22. Continue discrediting American culture by degrading all forms of artistic expression. An American communist cell was told to eliminate all good sculpture from parks and buildings, substitute shapeless, awkward, and meaningless forms. 23. Control art critics and directors of art museums. Our plan is to promote ugliness, repulsive, meaningless art. 24. Eliminate all laws governing obscenity by calling them censorship and a violation of free speech and free press. 25. Break down cultural standards of morality by promoting pornography and obscenity in books, magazines, motion pictures, radio, and TV. 26. Present homosexuality, degeneracy, and promiscuity as normal, natural, and healthy. 
27. Infiltrate the churches and replace revealed religion with social religion. Discredit the Bible and emphasize the need for intellectual maturity, which does not need a religious crutch. 28. Eliminate prayer or any phase of religious expression in the schools on the ground that it violates the principle of separation of church and state. 29. Discredit the American Constitution by calling it inadequate, old-fashioned, out of step with modern needs, a hindrance to cooperation between nations on a worldwide basis. 30. Discredit the American Founding Fathers. Present them as selfish aristocrats who had no concern for the common man. 31. Belittle all forms of American culture and discourage the teaching of American history on the ground that it was only a minor part of the big picture. Give more emphasis to Russian history since the communists took over. 32. Support any socialist movement to give centralized control over any part of the culture, education, social agencies, welfare programs, mental health clinics, etc. 33. Eliminate all laws or procedures which interfere with the operation of the communist apparatus. 34. Eliminate the House Committee on Un-American Activities. 35. Discredit and eventually dismantle the FBI. 36. Infiltrate and gain control of more unions. 37. Infiltrate and gain control of big business. 38. Transfer some of the powers of arrest from the police to social agencies. Treat all behavioral problems as psychiatric disorders, which no one but psychiatrists can understand or treat. 39. Dominate the psychiatric profession and use mental health laws as a means of gaining coercive control over those who oppose communist goals. 40. Discredit the family as an institution. Encourage promiscuity and easy divorce. 41. Emphasize the need to raise children away from the negative influence of parents. Attribute prejudices, mental blocks, and retarding of children to suppressive influence of parents. 42. Create the impression that violence and insurrection are legitimate aspects of the American tradition. That students and special interest groups should rise up and use united force to solve economic, political, or social problems. 43. Overthrow all colonial governments before native populations are ready for self-government. 44. Internationalize the Panama Canal. 45. Repeal the Connolly Reservation so the U.S. cannot prevent the World Court from seizing jurisdiction over domestic problems. Give the World Court jurisdiction over nations and individuals alike.